Uh, all right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for this this truth and understanding of the scriptures. Um, I just wanted to uh, to get on this um, real quick. Uh, now, as I said, we we <laughs> we sound like a broken record by the amount of times that we bring this subject up. But since this is the um, the next uh, major thing on the horizon, so to speak, this is what we should be speaking of uh, amongst all the other prophecies of the scriptures. But this right here, let me say this, this right here, this is the next thing we're looking for, man. Okay, and you don't got to look far for this. Everything, everything that is happening right now, it's all leading up to this microchip, man. Okay, and even, let's say, even if the chip isn't enforced in the next, say, six months, uh, they have something coming in uh, October, I believe it's October the 1st, might be October the 2nd of 2020, they have something coming that's called a real ID, which without it, you won't be able to basically travel, okay, which that's just one step closer to the, 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 the mark of the beast, which what you see on your screen here is called an RFID microchip. All right, uh, RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification Device. Okay, Radio Frequency Identification Device is what RFID stands for. Okay, so with this with this microchip, um, which is, as you see, just about as small as a grain of, of rice, will be implanted inside of one's hand. Okay, and there's, there's people live. I even know somebody... On my YouTube comment board, he goes by the name of Jared McDane. He literally already has the microchip implanted inside of him. True story, inside joke. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I got the scripture right here. And as I said, we sound like a broken record. We should know this by heart. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. And we'll start at the uh, 15th. Actually, we'll start at the 16th verse, which is the, the main meat. Um, it says, and he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred free score and six. Right, six, six, six. Now, for those who didn't know, uh, I'll show you real quick. Uh, let's see. What do I got to show? Oh, uh, okay. Um, right here, I have a uh, a Pepsi bottle, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Right on the back of the bottle, bring it as close as I can. Um, we all know about the, the barcode, but if you do your research on the barcode, the barcode equals 666, all right? Now, somebody's going to be simple and say, because, oh, well, I'm holding... A item in my right hand that has the number 666 on it that means I have the mark of the beast no even though it has the, the number of the beast on it 666 everything you buy to to a, 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 a dollar candy bar in the store to a six thousand dollar TV okay it all has a barcode on it it all has 666 on it okay and they used a barcode to keep track of it Okay, and if you run out of the store without them scanning these items, 99% of the time, which, you know, sometimes it malfunctions, but a vast majority of the time, the alarm's going to sound. If you run out of the store with one of these items, you know, when you go for the, 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 the scanner, okay? Um, uh, but anyway, um... You know, somebody's going to be simple and say that, oh, you guys took the mark of the beast by holding that in your hand. Another thing as well, let me grab one real quick. Hey, this is as much as I got at the moment. Inside joke. And love it, Christian knows what I mean. All right, but, you know, another thing as well. Somebody was saying that cash money, this is, this is the mark of the beast is what somebody said. All right, they said because I'm holding this on my right hand, this is the mark of the beast is what people are saying. This is not this is not the case. This is not the case, um, because even in the, the time of Christ, right? They they uh, used coin currency that had the, the faces of the emperors on the uh, the coins, and the, the the proof of that is what about um, 
I believe it's, oh, what is that? I believe it's Matthew, the 20th chapter. I could be mistaken. But um, in, in, the, in the book of Matthew, it mentions, you know, hey, somebody asked Christ a, a question about, is it lawful for, for us to willingly give tribute to Caesar? And he said, okay, well, let me see one of the coins. And they showed him it, and he asked, well, who is this? Who's this fellow on the coin? And they told him, oh, well, that's, that's you know, the governor. And he, said, he told him, okay, well, yeah, you know, if you want to give him that, then you can. Okay, so that shows you, just like um, you got George Washington on um, the bill here, the dollar bill. Um, back in the ancient time, they had the, the faces of popular people, usually the governors or the, you know, the rulers of the kingdom. They'd have them on the, the, the coins themselves. Okay, so my question to you, would they have the mark of the beast? And the answer is no. Okay, because they had to deal with, the, with currency like that. Currency isn't the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is what you see on the screen right there. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Okay, that is implanted inside of the hand. And there's people who have this inside of their brain already. And you can do the research on it. Okay, um, let me get something real quick. You said, man, guys, guys, just act simple, man. This is by far one of, I, I would argue and say this is the most easiest um, prophecy in, in, in the whole scriptures to understand. I mean, this is, this is like as easy as one, two, three, man. All right, you guys, if you guys can't get this, well, you guys don't know what you're talking about then. All right, the mark of the beast is not talking about a embargo. It's not talking about uh, paper currency. It's not talking about a handshake and a, a, a bow. <laughs> like that brother of Jerry McDane is out there teaching. It's not talking about the, the Sunday law. How the hell can one sell? Well, let's even deal with that a second. Okay, how could Sunday law be the mark of the beast? If, if the scriptures say this is going to affect everybody who doesn't even believe in religion. So how, how is an atheist going to take the mark of the beast if the mark of the beast is a Sunday law? Oh, everybody's going to have to go worship Pope Francis. That's bullshit right there, man. Nobody cares about Pope Francis. Nobody really cares about that dude, man. As he said, if, if the Vatican or the Pope was, was killed today, right? Or if the Vatican was destroyed today, who, who, would, who would give it two shits, man? Nobody cares about the Vatican. You know, yeah, it'd be like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's horrible. That's horrible. You know, might feel, you know, down and out about how, you know, such a terrible event could happen for maybe five minutes. But then after five minutes, you know, everybody pretty much forgets about it. You know what I mean? Um, but it, however, with America, if America was destroyed, that, that the whole world will go back to the Stone Age, man. Okay, because America, as the scriptures say, the great city that reigns over the earth, that city that reigns over the earth is America. Okay, all the world follows after the customs of America, but you know that's another topic. We're we'll, we're not going to get off onto that. Uh, yeah, that's that's for a future video. Um, Habakkuk chapter. Let's start. Bear with me a second. Okay, this is the book of Habakkuk chapter two, and we'll start at verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables, that he may be one who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, so this is, this is surely going to happen, man. Okay, slowly but surely... This is going to become the, the new norm, man. All right, we've been out here. We've been saying it for years, man. Okay, but you guys are going to see it. Okay, now, as I said, I'm not sitting here claiming that I know the, uh, the amount of time that's going to be. Uh, I'm not claiming that I know the amount of time it's going to be before this, uh, before this chip comes out. But we know that it's not going to be at all a long time, man. Okay, this is going to happen very soon. Okay, and anybody who isn't down with this does not know the scriptures. It's that simple. 
Okay, and let me say this, man. When I was in the Christian church, right, uh, my pastor told me, um, it was a question, you know, in the youth group that I was in, um, about, okay, what's the, the, the unforgivable sin? Okay, what, what is the unforgivable sin? Um, and I answered and said that the, taking the mark of the beast is the unforgivable sin. Okay, which, which, you know, according to the scriptures, the true, you know, sin that cannot be forgiven is, is a blasphemy of the, of the Holy Ghost. Okay, uh, you know, blasphemy against the Most High. That's, you know, that can't be forgiven. However, taking the mark of the beast cannot all be given as well. Okay, it cannot be forgiven for taking the mark of the beast. Okay, um, and, and we'll get that in a future uh, lesson. Um, let me see. Uh, but anyway, the, the moral of the story is it shows that you Christians really don't know much. Which again, I can't put this on everybody, but from my experience, this is what he said. Uh, when I said that, he said that no, people can be forgiven for taking the mark of the beast. Because they didn't get it in the right time period. Now keep in mind, he never said what the mark of the beast was. I never said what it was. I simply said, you know, oh, we're taking the mark of the beast. You know, you can't be forgiven. And again, he that clown said that you can. But of course, he couldn't show that in the scriptures. He simply just said that. And he said, oh, it wasn't the right time period. Okay, well, <laughs> how could it not be the right time period if that's the time period that the chip is out? I mean, how, how can you tell what time period is such and such? Okay, it shows, man, that these Christians really don't know the Bible. Okay, half of them have never even read a book of the Bible. Okay, let alone the whole thing. Okay, so these guys really ain't qualified to teach nothing. All right, but anyway... Um, the mark of the beast is the uh, radio frequency identification device. Okay, the RFID microchip. Okay, but anyway, if this being said, I'm going to say shalom.